that looks huge! Ugh. Hi, Killer Clan. Welcome back to the kitchen and welcome to another episode of Giant Foods. And I've been going through the list in the comments and one stood out. Sloppy Joe's. Everybody loves Sloppy Joe's and everybody does Sloppy Joe sandwiches, but I decided it'd be cool to make a huge so like Sloppy Joe log, like a huge sub roll. And of course, gonna have to have a side, so went with some tater tots. So that's what we're constructing. It's gonna be a 10 pound Sloppy Joe and tater tots challenge. So let's put this thing together. Weighed it out on the official scale here. Three pounds. I don't even know if this is gonna be even big enough to brown all this. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna try. I don't know, however. Oh! I don't know, however. Even if I can brown it. Even if I can brown it in here, I don't know if I'm gonna have any space for Papa Joe mix, which I probably will. So we got our ground beef going. We got our tots going in. That could probably take the longest. Yeah, they probably will, so that's why I figured to put them in now while I'm waiting for this to brew up. If you watch this channel, you know that Mr. Pool and myself built a huge grilled cheese out of two of these things. Remember, these were the foundation. Remember, we mm, cut the ends off, cheese. stuck it together, and made that big... But yeah, these things are delicious. I think we need to do a version 2 for now. Version 2 for now. Skip the gross tomato soup, though. Uh, you eat the sandwich, I'll chug the soup. That's where it's at. All right. I'm down. So yeah, there's two of these monstrosities. Damn. Should have got some 90-10, keep the calories down. 90-10. 90-10. 97 like turkey, keep the calories down. That thing is gigando. Two pounds of bread alone. I also have, I also have nacho cheese from this thing. I probably, I don't know if I should put some mozzarella on top of it. Maybe. And use the cheese to dip my. Oh, you need a little bit of red. Just a little pinch. Just a pinch of bread. Like a bread chop. Two cans of man, which I probably mm -hmm. should have made my own, but. Yeah, that seems like, like a lot, lot of work. work. So we went pre-canned. Don't kill me in the comment section. Oh, uh, we got some. Look at this gour gourmet. Gourmet. <laughs> gourmet. <laughs> gourmet. 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 Get that sauce, Poe. Epic sauce. So we had three pounds of ground beef, three pounds of sauce, two pounds of bun. So right now, just the sandwich is about eight pounds. Eight pounds of sandwich. Two and a half pounds of tots and two and a half pounds of tots. So ten and a half. And if I put cheese on it? Eleven? Eleven-ish. Can you go to prison for smothering something in cheese? Because you can like smother somebody with a pillow. I think about letting someone smother, smother me with cheese. cheese. <laughs> You're like, oh no, I'm getting smothered with cheese. What would you yell? Oh, cheeses. <laughs> Look at this. I keep adding cheese. This thing's gonna be like 12 pounds. Yeah, we're. Well, now I'm thinking cheddar. We got to get some cheddar. The cheddar makes it better. Then we layer in some cheddar. Got some cheddar and some moths on there. And I feel like if I don't do this now. Oh, 
Oh, look at that freaking sloppy jammy. Yeah, I like sloppy jammies. Oh, dude, that's epic. That's a sandwich. Yeah, that's definitely. Gotta put my sandwich back together since it feels falling apart on me. Just because, Mr. Poole, you gotta have a little bit of cheese on the top too while I'm at it. Look at that! Cheesy. It's getting warm, so I'll keep that to dip my... What's going on, Killer Clan? As you saw in the clips before, the world's biggest Sloppy Joe sandwich. This whole entire platter is about 10 pounds. This is like a nine pound sandwich. I mean, it is like this thick and wider than my baddie. That's how John Mayer would say it, baddie. I got ketchup over here to help me get these tater tots down. I cooked these kind of like El dente so they didn't shred the crap out of my mouth. But can't you admit that that might be the coolest sandwich you've ever seen? And it goes right along with this water bottle from thecoldestwater.com. Make sure you go over and check out thecoldestwater.com. Use my promo code below. Get yourself a little bit of a discount. They have these from 21 ounces clear up to a gallon. So make sure you check that out. So like I said before, this is a gigantic Sloppy Joe sandwich. Two loaves of bread, three pounds of beef, three pounds of sauce, three different types of cheese, and I also got ketchup, and I got some cheese sauce over here. Might have to use this up. Might do a little mixture over here, see that? And two and a half pounds of tater tots. I have no idea how long this is gonna take. This is probably still scalding hot, but without further ado, the largest Sloppy Joe solo challenge actually i think the lunchbox in new york used to make a 10 pounder but that was a two-person one so but this is pretty comparable because this sandwich is well with that it, wow with the additional cheese i actually put on this it actually might be 10 pounds so the largest sloppy joe solo sandwich challenge sloppy joe actually let's start with the top not bad. I don't have, have any idea how I'm actually going to do this, but <clears throat> I obviously can't pick it up. I could. I already lost half the Joe off of that one. Now you're talking. Mm. I can honestly say it's been a while since I had a lot of juice. I used to go to the truck stop when you were allowed to go to restaurants. All you could eat sloppy dough night. I just work with that. That thing is like I bread is dense. <laughs> I said fresh from Walmart, but what's their definition of fresh? Wow. I just thought it. I'm about four minutes in. Got half that sandwich out of there. <coughs> it was 
delicious. That's a runoff. Enjoy some of these toss with ketchup and cheese. I haven't done tater tots in a challenge since Molly Skyler and myself did the Libertine Triple Challenge. It was like 20 pounds. I'm not sure how I get myself into that kind of stuff. None of those stories even start with here, hold my beer. In because I don't drink anymore. Starting to get the meat sweats. myself off just in time to start the other half of the sandwich. Better cool off with some of the water out of this bottle. Okay, and then I got this other <coughs> monstrosity here. Reached in the cabinet and got a knife out and Look at that. This is a quarter of the sandwich. It's the size of my head. Now three pounds of hamburger alone is like a couple thousand. Use a hundred calories an ounce. I think that's what beef is about hundred calories now. <clears throat> that's a lot of calories. Good thing I'm drinking water. Can't want to eat calories now. I guess it depends on the fat percentage. True. I had to drink out like a toddler. <laughs> That bread was hard to get through. <clears throat> wow. A lot of healing. What you should have done is made your own custom loaf. I could have. <clears throat> I got some sloppy Joe runoff here, but we're about 13 minutes in and the sandwich is gone. And I got this plethora of. Little tots action. Yeah. It's a sloppy Joe Anderson, not a sloppy Anderson. I give this to my dog, he'd have it all over his back. He might be a messer here than me. Marty, stop looking at the 
What do you like on your tater tots? Ketchup? Ranch? Hope you good, Comment below. He's the smarter. I'm really sure it's wet. Not as much as a few episodes ago when they did that freaking KFC bowl. Jesus. That was an extreme overheat. <laughs> you I'm eating fast. Have a sloppy. Uh, 17 minutes, 40 seconds. For a massive sloppy Joe sandwich. Like a nine pound sandwich and two and a half pounds of tots, so like 11 and a half, 12 pounds. There's a lot of sloppy Joe. Uh, also, make sure you check out thecoldestwater.com. Use my promo code below. Get you a little discount on these bottles over here. Like I said, they are 21 ounces up to a gallon. And also, if you want a Killer Kennedy t-shirt or decal, t-shirts are medium through 2x. PayPal Kennedy Collision at gmail.com. Include your address and your size, and I will get one out to you. Remember, the postage is included. So $20 straight out. $5 for the decal straight out. Take it easy. <laughs>